Hey everybody. Hey Brody, it is time to duel. Can you believe it? It really is time to duel. Um, we are back for our Yu-Gi-Oh! Mondays. I have enjoyed these thoroughly. It's a really nice change of pace. I've been so excited about um, Emerald, but I love this too. Um, I think at this point we have seen pretty much all of the duelists that we can find. Um, ooh, did you know there's something called a challenge match that's held on the weekends? If you have a chance, give it a try. How about that? Um, I think there's one more kind of like green staticky thing um, we can do. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do. Oh, a card taken out of play doesn't go to the graveyard. It ends up in an out of play zone. If you don't believe me, check it out during your next duel. Um, yeah, I think we even countered that once or twice now. Um, all right, folks. At some point, I'm gonna have to eventually actually duel somebody. Um, <laughs> you can't do justice for Ziggy here. Well, you have to find, uh, another, um, character to really, really fight for, you know? Hey, listen! There was this real low-life duelist who preys on weaker duelists. He's got this sick laugh that sounds something like, Yo, yo, yo! Interesting. I will beat him. Um, all right, I'm gonna do one more passenger, and if we don't see... That last static thing. Let's see. Alright, do we fight Joey or Yugi? I want to give one of them a try. I'm feeling like I want to give Joey a try. Because Joey and Yugi both wiped the floor with us the last time we fought them. Or dueled them. Pardon me, we did not fight them. I'm thinking Joey. Let's do Joey. All right, so right now, okay, our official record is 10 and five. So I'm hoping that our win percentage will kind of continue to go up as we get, okay, as we get better cards, oops, see, there we go. We should be able to start beating the likes of Joey and Yugi and whatnot, and it's not a great start because we don't have any cards we can play, but we do have some nice uh, trap cards. We have Negate Attack and Trap Hole. All right, Goblin Attack Force. I'll go ahead and... I've talked about this card. It's a card that has 2,300 attack, costs nothing to play, but it always moves into its zero defense position after it attacks. <laughs> Justice for that airball thing. Justice for Karibo, Brody. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, we can negate attack here. I think I will. Because I just don't want to take damage. Um, right now. I'm just, I'm not feeling taking damage. Um, okay. Hmm. Rocket Warrior can really come in handy. I'm just going to set these two for now. We'll do that. Okay, great. I don't mind this. Um, <laughs> Koribo for life. <laughs> That's exactly how you spell it. <laughs> um, it's not, buddy. Alright, we're actually gonna put the Spellbinding Circle on Gearfried. Oh, Swords of Revealing Light. That's lame. Wow! What a play! Ooh, I'm definitely gonna use Dark Horse. But I don't, I really don't want that to be Magic Jammer. Um, you know what? I, I might take a strategic life point hit here. Mm -hmm. Alright, we know it's a Summon Skull. Um, it, it hurts a lot that it's Goblin Attack Force because it's going into defense mode anyway, just like that. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try Dark Hole. Okay, good. I really did not want that to be Magic Jammer. But I am... I mean, I don't know, man. 
it doesn't do me a ton of good to play Rocket Warrior because it's just gonna get destroyed, but it's okay. Let's see what that does. Does he have anything for that? He sure does! Gosh, dang it, man. His four stars are just so powerful. But as you can see, um, Zambira the Dark there. Here's Karibo, Brody. That's actually how you spell it, by the way. <laughs> Kuribo. Uh, well, this is awesome. I don't have anything. We will be able to sacrifice Karibo to um, get rid of the life point damage that we're going to take. I love that he attacked with him first. So we can keep our life points by discarding Karibo. A change of heart would have been the play right there. Change of heart. That would have been the play. Imperial Order, this uh, negates magic cards. So hopefully he decides to attack. Oh my gosh. Sure. I'll do Imperial Order. Will that buy me a second? Oh, nice, and now he can't attack? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. I don't really have that to give. The only thing is, Silver Fang is nothing. So I will just set it in defense mode. We really need more of these strong four-star monsters. I really want to get, like, that Gemini elf, that kind of stuff, you know? Oh, that hurts terribly. Oh, you know, I must say, this has been a true trouncing thus far. We do have the giant soldier of stone. Hopefully that can wall him a little bit. Um, nope, just has another 2100 attack to just destroy our soldier and just kills us so easily. Guys, that was the worst start in the world. We got annihilated. Oh my goodness. All right, 10 and six. Oh my lord. Okay, so we are now 0 and two against Joey. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think we've seen this yet. Are we uh, ready to participate in target week? To start the contest, all participants will be given two targets. You must defeat them during this week, and def uh, you must find them during the week and defeat them. Bonus points will be awarded to the victors. So now we need to defeat these two people. It's just kind of like extra points. I don't really care too much about the points, um, but it's fun to try to do. Um, let's see. Oh, Karibo is an archetype in the OCG TCG in a series in the anime and manga. Wow, how about that, Brody? Bringing the facts. Okay, so we have Esperoba and Weevil. We should be able to beat both of those guys. Um, all right, so let's see if we can find them. That's who we are going to try to defeat. Ah, okay. All right, we don't see either of them anyway. This is, I believe, our last uh, green static person. So let's see who it is, because I think I know. Yes, this is Mokuba Kaiba, not Seto Kaiba. This is uh, Kaiba's younger brother. And he is, Mokuba is hilariously bad. I think I beat him over 100 times <laughs> in my original file of this game. Um, he's horrible. Let's see. We don't have much going here, but you're gonna you're gonna see why he is kind of like kind of like the the whipping post of this game because he just plays this monster in attack mode and it can't do anything. He does that all the time, and all of his monsters are like like 800 attack like that. They're all terrible. Um, I think he does have, like, one or two monsters that are, like, 1,600. I think he has one Raigeki in his deck. Oh, he has a Karibo. Um, so he has, like, two decent cards. 
Um, but mostly he just does crap like that. And you can play, like, Beaver Warrior here. Like, I haven't really been able to play Beaver Warrior very much. Um, but against Mokuba, it's easy peasy. I will play my Dark Magician Girl. Excuse me. And I can get Yami out here. And now we're dealing, and again, Mokuba is someone that, like, if you really need, like, a pack, you really need to, like, beef up your deck a little bit, you can just find them, and they're pretty much an auto win. And I won't try to abuse Mokuba, like, too much in this playthrough. Just because he's just so bad, and it's not really that fun to watch me fight him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, you, you think you can go past plus six in Pokemon? That's fine. Um, let's see. So I think this will do it now. Fairy of the Fountain? Absolutely. And now we have Giant Rat. And there we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy victory. Thanks for stopping by, Mokuba. And here we're on like the subway. I haven't really talked much about like the locations in Battle City. If my brother was here, he'd show you. Classic little brother. Um, what pack are we looking at here? I'm thinking I maybe want to do the Black Luster Soldier. Maybe the Mystical Elf. Maybe the Red Eyes. Hmm. We'll do the Red Eyes. Ah. Not a very good card. <laughs> it is rare, though. Witty Phantom. Witty Phantom. That is a classic card right there. Ooh, Giga Rat or Karibo, who is my favorite furball? Probably Karibo, I would say. Uh, oh, Makiyu. I think this is one of the cards in this game that just straight up doesn't work. Um, I know that there are a few cards that don't. Okay, so it says, select either left arm of the Forbidden One or any Thunder-type monster. All opponent's monsters with defense lower than the attack of the selected card are destroyed. So that could, in theory, maybe come in handy. But not really. <laughs> um, okay, we are looking for Weevil, so we definitely want to try to fight Weevil. And we are now 11 and 6. Because fighting Mokuba can really beef up your stats, so. All right, we're gonna get Weevil again. We're gonna get him. It's gonna be great. I was really hoping we would get better cards from either of those uh, pack situations. Um, all right, I like our I like our hand to start. You always love to start with the Giant Soldier Stone. Most duelists can't hit above that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're trying their best. That's right, buddy. Ah. Uh, Okay. That's all right. That's all right. See, we got the seven colored fish. We are just gonna come right back with it. It is really funny how they decide what cards get like great attack power. Cause this is just, it's just a fish. It's a rainbow fish, but it's really strong. Whereas a giant soldier of stone is somehow weaker. That's really annoying. Guys, that's really annoying. That's very dumb. He had a Dark Hole and a Raigeki. Come on now. I will try to fight through his defense monster. Um, <laughs> what did they do to the Rainbow Fish? They used Raigeki, man. Ugh. Mirror Force. Mirror Force. That's probably the best trap card in the game, I would say. Um, okay. He's, he's staying sneaky. 
All right, I have some good trap cards here. I am fine with, ooh, this is cool. I can actually summon the Magician of Black Chaos. I don't know when it's going to be good for me to do so, but I actually can, that's fun. I'm gonna try to hit through some of his face down monsters. Hopefully I don't get too terribly man-eater bugged or anything. Alright, we also have our Dunamis Dark Witch, which I love. Um, and that'll be really nice, because once we... Okay, Needle Worm, it's going to discard some of my cards, which makes me sad. Um, ooh, but I do have Monster Reborn in my hand. That could actually work in my favor. Ah, man eater bug. Probably destroyed the Dark Witch. Yeah, there she goes. Um, that is one good thing about the... Uh, what did I lose? Celtic Guardian, Ceasefire... Ah, Total Defense Shogun. I can maybe bring that out. Um, oh, I, oh, yeah. One thing I love about the Duelist Weekly is that hopefully we can keep getting more of that Dunamis Dark Witch card. Um because we can get three of those in our deck and that'll really help us because like beaver warrior at some point we're not gonna have beaver warrior in our deck forever that's for sure um and i'm kind of worried about oh okay that actually does damage to us um the face down monsters the flip monster so i oh he he took my total defense shogun that's lame. Uh, what do I have here? I do have Trap Hole. I will negate attack, actually. There we go. Because I'm hoping... Ah, oh, crap. Alright, Total Defense Shogun is in attack mode, so I should be able to defeat it. Um, does he have something over here that is good? No. Nope, just his bugs. All right. What are you? 1,200? That's fine. I'm going to bring out my Dark Witch once again. Usually I would use Monster Reborn on a stronger card, but I am actually pretty happy about the idea of getting rid of the Total Event Shogun. Um, let's see, I'll just attack this face down. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, that'll work. Ooh, goes into defense mode, how about that? I'm gonna use Graceful Charity here. Can get rid of Multiply. Ah, that's good. I'll get rid of Royal Decree as well. Maybe. We're gonna Fairy in the Fountain because um, this, I believe, negates trap cards. Yeah, this is this could really come in handy. Um, I'm still nervous. I'm still nervous to play my Magician of Black Chaos. I don't want it to get destroyed immediately. Um, you know what? I'm doing it. I don't care. So now I can destroy my Buster Blader and my Beaver Warrior to summon the Magician of Black Chaos. Um, such a freaking cool card. I love this card. I hope it doesn't get destroyed immediately, but we'll see. Mm -mm. Um, and I love these strong ritual monsters. It's just kind of like really specialized as to when you can get them out. Um, oh, this is interesting. I don't have any cards in my hand. Um, but you actually forfeit the duel when you can't draw any more cards. So that's interesting. So when you run out of cards, you basically automatically lose. And this is the reason why I wanted to keep that Royal Decree, just in case that face down card would have annihilated me. 
But I will say right now, with Royal Decree in our back pocket and the Magician of Black Chaos out on the field, I'm pretty sure we are we are in pretty decent shape right now. Um. Uh. No. Excuse me. Ha ha. Yes, I do. Because I have my Royal Decree. There you go. Doesn't work. You loser. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't doesn't have a terrible effect. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he has a lot of those parasite uh, parasites. I don't know what exactly that does. I don't remember actually. Um, didn't do anything to us this duel. Target one defeated. Um, I'm pretty sure Raigeki is in one of these. I'm gonna try the Dark Magician. Uh, Book of Secret Arts, a bit too specialized for us. Um, Alright, so we're looking for Esperoba, so I'm gonna try to find some passengers until I find him. There's Rex Raptor. We haven't heard from Rex in a while. Ooh, I can increase our record. We are 12 and 6. Alrighty. There we go. I know playing a face down card is tactically effective. Okay. Listen, I'm busy. There's a sale going on in that shop over there, and I'm not going to miss it. Yeah, sometimes they just say random random stuff like that. All right, so there's Esperoba. We're going to give him another shot. Should be able to defeat him. All right. Let me find this. Yes. Perfect. All right. So I'm not seeing any monster cards, which I don't love, but I do have Pot of Greed. All right, love that. The classic one trap, one defense monster is excellent. The freaking Dark Hole, guys. I am getting destroyed by the Dark Hole. Just first turn. This is silly. Graceful Charity is wonderful. Oh, okay. This could come in handy right now. We'll get rid of the Dark Magician. There uh, is Ceasefire. Usually I want to save Fisher for a stronger monster, and I will. <laughs> okay. Because I can defeat Sangan straight up. Oh, you made an animation about the, uh, the Watson fight on your channel? That's awesome! Thanks, Brody! I'll have to, I'll have to see that. Drop it in the Discord. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's really great. Um, if you're watching this and don't know what he's talking about, I streamed, last time I streamed Pokemon Emerald, and we had a really great gym leader fight. It was, it was awesome. It was super fun. Uh, da, da, do. All right, so our only issue here is that we can't really play anything right now. I will set these two. And we'll get Fisher going just because we got to destroy that card. Souls of the Forgotten. That's not the worst thing for us to see. I don't hate that. Okay, I really need a monster that I can play. Okay, that'll work. You will work, Rocket Warrior. 
And these are, yes, those are fine. Yeah, I'm excited to see the Total Defense Shogun in action. Yeah, it always, all those little things come up just to make sure that you play the trap cards that you want to play when you can play them. Oh my gosh, he took my Dark Magician! He took my Dark Magician! Um... Yes, this is the one I will I will never remember Imperial Order or Royal Decree. I will never, ever remember which one is magic cards and which one is trap cards. So it's gonna be this one. And that'll negate his Moss Reborn, which I desperately need to happen. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not like the fight, but like what I think what happened on your off-camera fight. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I got Truly destroyed. Uh, let's see. No, we good. No, I don't want to pay that. I just wanted to get rid of the monster of horn. Okay. Um, here, I'm just going to set the giant soldier of stone. Kind of hedge my bets a little bit. And we'll just see what this card is. All right. Still destroy it. We still good. All right. So both of our trap cards that we have down actually both negate trap cards. Um, <laughs> so if he's got a trap card, we're gonna we're doing great. Um, I am actually gonna summon my total defense shogun. There we go, and it automatically goes to defense mode when you play it face up like that, which is really cool. And now it can still attack from defense mode, which is sick. I just, I don't, this card isn't that great. I just really enjoy its novelty. Um, and I just always thought it was a cool, just a cool concept. And total defense shogun, like, come on, that's a sick name. Sick name. All right, folks, so... Okay, 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 okay. I would have loved had he not played Swords of Revealing Light. I guess I could have kept up my... Whatchamacallit? My... Imperial Order to make, to make sure that didn't happen, but it's whatever. But can I activate this? I cannot. One card that we definitely want to get, my friends, is Harpy's Feather Duster. That is something that we really want. That is basically the Raigeki of Magic and Trap cards. You are kidding me. Oh my gosh. I literally just said Raigeki. What is happening? I hate this. This makes me so mad. Ugh. Oh wow, that was a tribute monster? That's crazy. Um, I think I can act. Yeah, I can activate backup soldier. Sure. Let's get this giant soldier of stone, baby. Sure. I'll leave the beaver warrior. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna take some damage here. I think we should we should definitely be able to defeat this guy. Um, that is a very weak tribute monster. That is just so annoying, folks. So very sad. I'll just start rolling, it's fine. There we go. Oh, Light of Intervention. This is interesting. This is a card that if there's any monsters in face down position, they are flipped face up. It like reveals them, so to speak. I think Swords of Revealing Light does the same if there are any uh, face down cards, but it's main function is to keep us from attacking for three turns. I don't even know if I even said that. That is uh, a card that Yugi used to great effect in the anime, um, Swords of Revealing Light. He always seemed to draw it when he really needed it. All right. I feel like we are kind of making our way through his uh, 
through his good plays. We're kind of taking his taking his punches, so to speak. Um, show yourself, it'd be like. You're right. Um, that is actually a great song. If anyone's seen Frozen 2, the song Show Yourself is so good. Um, oh yeah, it makes it so you can't summon face down cards. I actually forgot about that. That's interesting. Um, for now, we'll just get this giant soldier out here. And that's, man, the giant soldier is so great because it has that 2,000 attack, but, uh, sorry, 2,000 defense, but 1,300 attack is still, like, usable in, like, a, in some situations. So if you want to bring it out to, you know, attack directly like I just did, it'll still do a good chunk of damage. It's not like its attack is nothing. Um, so, looks like he doesn't really have anything left. I'm going to play this Mystical State Space Typhoon just for, just for the giggles. And I'm also going to play Summon Skull. Just for the giggles. Um, let's see. And we will defeat Esperoba. And that is going to make our 13th victory, I'm pretty sure. It is indeed. We are now 13 and 6. So we started 10 and 5. So we're 3 and 1 this stream. I, uh... We have fought a, a fought a cupcake or two. Ooh, I don't remember. Oh, I, yes, I think you get this pack of cards for finishing target week. So let's see what we get. Ah, rock spirit. That's pretty good. Special summon this card by removing one earth monster from your graveyard. The attack of this monster increases by three hundred points during your opponent's battle phase. Um. Can you only special summon this card? If that's true, then it is not good. <laughs> ah, crazy fish. We have the seven colored fish. Let's get the crazy fish in here. Whoa. Oh, there's light of intervention. Um, I actually will be adding crazy fish to our deck because we are always hurting for four star attacking monsters. So let's get that crazy, let's get that crazy fish in there. I said, hey, you're crazy fish, but you fish so good. <laughs> ah. um, I think I'm going to finally get rid of Silver Fang. I'll put you to the side deck. Um, Silver Fang is usually just not what we're looking for. Uh, do you have Ground Attacker Bug, Bug Roth? Could add that one. Could add Pale Beast. Um, I'm gonna add Pale Beast for now. And is there anything over here that we can get rid of? I think I might call it on Beaver Warrior. I'll, I'll put him to the side. All right. So we got a few more duels that we can do. It looks like. Um, Alright, I know I didn't say this about Moku. I know I said this about Moku, but, <laughs> but I am going to fight him again because I want to see what we can get out of that Graceful Charity um, pack. Okay, so it looks like we can get the Rai Geki out of the Dark Magician pack. So I definitely want to try to get that. Um, because that is going to be like one of the key cards that we can that we can get. Um, and it's one of those ones that we don't start with. Alright. Oh, there's that crazy fish. I'll go ahead and play you in attack mode. There we go. boo doo dee doo And see, he plays it in attack mode and he knows he can't attack. Like, what are you doing, homie? I don't even remember what was my trap. Negate attack. Ah, he has his Karibo. I think that's how he started off the last, uh, the last duel. The last duel. Now that is actually really interesting. The last duel is a movie, 
it is a really, really good movie. And it really fell under, just went under the radar. Really, really liked that movie. It's very, very underrated. If you, I actually highly recommend it. Oh, sorry guys, I'm literally just looking at these, uh, uh, what these packs have right now. Okay, I'll stop doing that for now. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm in the middle of a duel. Come on. Oh. Play my boy Total Defense Shogun. And yeah, he might not stay in our deck all this whole time, but you know, he'll be here while I want him to be here. <laughs> because hopefully we will get to the point where we will be able to defeat um, like Yugi and Kaiba and Joey consistently. And like, dude plays Mystical Elf in attack mode! What are you doing? Such a noob! Alright. <laughs> um. It is so nice to get my good monsters out on the field. I feel like I often just don't have the opportunity to do so um, in other duels. You know what? I can. <laughs> so I will. Goodbye, Defense Shogun. And goodbye, Rocket Warrior. Here comes the Magician. Um, and I mean, that is really the one good thing about the ritual cards is that you can uh, tribute cards from your hand. That, that can be pretty helpful. But it isn't very helpful that you need the magic card to do it. It's it's a real it's a real trade-off. What we got here, Graceful Charity. Oh yes, guys! Yes, right here. Mechanical Chaser. That's a very good four-star, 1850. You love to see it. You love to see it. That will be added to our deck immediately. Awesome. Um Crawling Dragon number two, honestly, pretty good as well. I forget what this does. Ah, you can flip 1,000 points of direct damage to your opponent's light points at the cost of 2,000 of your own. Hmm. That could be useful in certain situations. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I think this guy is telling us that we did a good job in target week. Yeah, we did it! Got our bonus points. Hooray! All right. All right, so let's... Do a little more maintenance here. I'm going to filter. Yeah, once once you really get into this game, the filter is just so terribly necessary. I was maybe going to bring in Firewing Pegasus um, at some point. It could come in handy later. I'm always going to... I'm going to have it in the back pocket. Um... We'll, we'll bring in Crawling Dragon number two, and I will get rid of one of our lower attack monsters. Um, I think I can get rid of the Celtic Guardian. I always, I always kind of put off getting rid of Celtic Guardian um, because it's such a cool Yugi card, and the art is really good. Um, but it's just not that good of a card. Uh, all right, we can fight. We'll fight Rex Raptor. It's really interesting because Rex has like dinosaur cards. That's his whole thing. But there actually aren't that many dinosaur cards in this game because that's like a type of card. Um, let's see. So a lot of the time, it's more that he's using, like, dragon cards. Or it's like it's like a mix. He uses, like, dinosaur and dragon cards. All right, don't hate that. But, Rex, you're about to get played by the greatest play in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're going to use that Change of Heart tribute. Mm. It's so wonderful 
wonderful every time. I love it. It just, it tastes delicious. And now we hitting that sweet, sweet direct damage. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, that was wrong a little bit. Do, 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 do. All right. Do, do. And again, you'll kind of find yourself like, even now, I'm like, we're doing better. Our deck is definitely improved. Once you kind of win those like first 10 duels, you'll find that uh, your your deck is really getting to a better spot. All right, it shouldn't take too many turns. Hopefully he doesn't have a terrible magic card to destroy us right now. Okay. And this'll do it. Um, I'll play Mechanical Chaser for the giggles. Um, and I'll let it pick up the pick up the kill, if you uh, so to speak, if you will. There we go. Mechanical Chaser in real life, I think, was actually only given out as like a tournament promo or something, if I'm not mistaken. And I do know that the real life Mechanical Chaser is a very rare card. Um, do -do 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 -do. All right, Graceful Charity is always good because um, that goes away when you don't have a winning streak of three or more. But I'm going to try for the Raigeki. Let's see if we can get it. Not this time. Not this time. Oh, that's interesting. That can increase our life points, and I know that this is just a card that is just a free 200 life points to your opponent. 200 life points honestly isn't that good to warrant like a slot in the deck. Um, I know that there are some cards that do like 800 points if we find that maybe. Um, ah, Metal Guardian. I remember this was an anime card. Um, but it's not very good. It was when it was in the first season of the anime where they just decided that they didn't need to play by the rules. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go and head and fight Truesdale here. We have improved to 14 and 6. Love to see it. Um, I wanna. Before we end tonight, I really wanna try to give um, Kaiba or Yugi a try. Um, because, you know, we tried to fight Joey first thing and he smoked us. He smoked us like a beef brisket. Alright, this is fine. I also love this. Mm. Damage to you. You're attacking me, damage to you. Alright. -da -da um, that is funny though, because we actually cannot do anything. Ooh. He played it face down. Um. I actually don't mind this because he tributed a monster. What did he play? Neck Hunter, so it's not a very good card. That's okay. But we got our Mechanical Chaser. That actually wasn't strong enough to destroy our Mechanical Chaser. And again, that is like... Kind of like the name of the game in the Yu-Gi-Oh! meta back in the day. Um, is like cards with high attack that you could play for nothing. And I did not know that Truesdale had a Vorse Raider. It's a good thing we have this trap card here. Okay, we can't play any of those. So we'll just play him face down. Because literally, even just upgrading to a couple 1600s and getting Mechanical Chaser has made a huge difference. So it does destroy our weak Penguin Soldier, but back you go. Alright. I would love to draw another monster card that I can play. Ooh, we will go with Monster Reborn. I love that. I might grab his Neck Hunter, depending on what's in... Ah, no, I'll grab his Vorse Raider. Ba-da-da-da. 
Oh my gosh, only 150 life points away. I was just saying how Sparks wasn't that good of a card. Well, I'd love to play Sparks right now. Exactly. Now Truesdale lives to fight another day. And now I gotta draw another freaking monster card. Heart of the Cards. I haven't even talked about this. <laughs> um, ugh. In the anime, I don't have anything I can play. Um, in the anime, Yugi always uh, invokes what he calls the heart of the cards, which is really just like hoping that you draw something good. <laughs> and uh, very so often he's like down to his last draw and he's gonna lose if he doesn't draw the perfect card right now. And uh, oftentimes he does draw the perfect card. But guys, I am going to need the heart of the cards right now. Really, I just need any monster I can play. All of his monsters right now are super weak. I just need something that can be on the field without tributing. Literally, I think Mystical Elf will still... Yes, Mystical Elf will still win us the game. That is amazing. Because this guy's only got 600 attack, and we only need to do 200 damage. There we go. <laughs> Not how I anticipated winning. Alright, so that improves us to 15 and 6. Love to see that. Okay. So, I know at some point we're going to start unlocking even more new packs. Um... So, do I go Dark Magician again, or the Graceful Charity? I think I'm gonna go Dark Magician again. I really want that, uh, that Raigeki. Ah, uh, not quite. Violet Crystal. Yes, this uh, increases the attack power of zombie cards, which again, are kind of rare, honestly. All right. Oh, this is an interesting thing. Um, if Kaiba, and Mokuba are in the same place like this. Um, if you fight one, the other will actually challenge you. So I want to fight Kaiba, so I'm going to try to fight Mokuba. So what happens is this. I'm an official duelist too. I've even built my own deck. Come on, duel with me. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I know that's a thing. That must be a thing later in the game because that is definitely a thing. I did not try to trick you all. Um, Alright, so we're going to get into this, this duel here with Mokuba. We're just going to destroy him. We're going to kind of speed through it a little bit. Because um, again, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh wow. I did not think that was going to happen. Um, so that's something that Kaiba does. Um, he likes to use this card, Cyberstein, at the cost of 5,000 of your own life points. You can special summon one fusion monster. And that is how he gets the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon out. I never knew Mokuba had one in his deck. I thought that was only Seto Kaiba. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I guess we're gonna lose? I mean, we'll see. Um, I can destroy his Cyberstein anyway. Um, and again, it costs 5,000 life points. It's a really hefty cost. But I, I mean, if we don't draw like a Dark Hole or a Fissure or something, we're not going to be able to destroy it. Because we have nothing strong enough to take out the Blue Eyes Ultimate. All right, we can only survive one more turn. Oh boy. That is so funny. We're gonna lose to Mokuba. That never happens. Again, I really didn't think he had that. That was crazy. <laughs> oh boy. How sad. How very sad. And I mean, I could have played Pale Beast in defense mode there, but 
his other monster would have had enough to destroy me. Well, that's terrible. We can't... We can't end on that one. Losing to Mokuba. That's horrible. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 So let's try to let's try to beat Seto. Okay. All right. And you might be asking yourself, hey, if you lost to Mokuba, what makes you think you can beat Seto Kaiba? Hope I get a better draw, baby. Hope I get a better draw. Um. And I also hate how they just know. They just know not to attack your face down monster. It's kind of bull crap. Um, let's see. Interesting. So he just summoned that face down. I'm actually gonna chill. Because once he flips that face up, I should... Whoa, he's summit. What is going on? <laughs> um, once he flips that card face up... Let's try this. Okay, Torrential Tribute. I don't hate that. Um, what did he destroy? Gadget Soldier. Okay, so he has those kind of like weaker four, five, and six stars. All right. I got some things up my sleeve. Let's see what we can do. He is just staying on the defensive as our boy Kaiba today. Do, do, do. All right. And I'm going to stay on the defensive as well. Yes, we will use our negate attack. Great. Um, and I was holding on to this Fisher here because it's just such a useful card. Um, there we go, because that gets rid of his Gemini Elf. Um, and now we just have this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try my chances here. Um, because we kind of have this little moment where Kaiba's on the defensive. Uh, he did negate our attack. Does not bode well. Does not bode well. Let's see what happens. Okay, just that. And then ceasefire. Oh, that does that. Okay. Set my total defense shogun. Wow, this is really uh ugh. okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um I do actually want to activate this because oh not yet, I guess. Um okay. Because Gadget Soldier can't hit through Total Defense Shogun. But he's also just gonna know to not attack it until he plays his freaking stupid blue eyes white dragon. Stupid, stupid blue eyes white dragon. Ah. And that'll destroy Total Defense Shogun. Guys. That makes me sad. Because that. Oh! Baby! That's a good draw right there. That is a good draw, but you know what? I'm actually gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Yes, I knew he would play another monster. Um, okay, no, that's not what I wanna do. Um, no. Um, no, sorry. I really was not processing what was happening. And here I will play my Karibo. Give me a card I can play. Crap. 
Um, all right, so I now can play Dark Hole. I really just kind of wanted to bait him into playing another one of his monsters so I could destroy it. I had kind of like the life point, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, fat that could be trimmed. Ugh. I'm using a lot of my good magic and trap cards, guys. All right, Pale Beast, you'll have to do. I can't attack for direct damage. And sometimes you'll get into these fights with the AI and they'll just be like, you know, we're, we're out of cards. Like, it's almost like there's a script that Kaiba could follow and at a certain point he just like kind of like stops playing cards. Like, maybe that's what's just happened right there. Um, I don't know, man. I'm gonna play you face down, actually. Just in case he's got, like, a mirror force there or something. Uh, just a negate attack. That's fine. Okay. Um... Okay, that's great. Um, because now Giant Rat lets me bring out a card. And that'll be... Bring out the other Giant Rat. Excuse me. And that automatically goes to defense mode. And that's, that's its huge drawback. Um, alright, now we can go on the offensive, which I love. All right, let's do it. So I'll destroy you with my giant rat. Boom, baby. I cannot believe Mokuba got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I was like so fascinated for when that play was going to happen against Kaiba. Um, <laughs> that's so funny that we lost to Mokuba. But, uh... As you can see, Kaiba didn't get, like, the the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon play. Um, I'm going to keep Mechanical Chaser in our back pocket just in case that is something bad on his side of the field. And it is not. That is okay. Seven Colored Fish should do it. Lovely. That is a big win. We embarrassingly lost to Mokuba. But we defeated Kaiba, so that's great. And we evened up our record with him. Um, I'm going to try Dark Magician again. That's just what I'm trying to stream. And I am not rewarded. Those are some pretty bad cards, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> guys, that's a good one to end on. Thanks for being here. Um, I, I love this game. I can't wait to get through to kind of like the little bit of story that uh, this game has. It's really, really fun. But that, those were some great duels, some big surprises. Loved it. Um, I will see you all probably Wednesday with more Pokemon Emerald. And if you're watching this on YouTube, like this video. It's great. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. See you, Brody.